I've got to lay off the mead. Hey everyone, I'm Alexander J. Velitsky. I'm here today doing a real quick tutorial on how to fix the dialog bug. Now this actually isn't really a bug, Bethesda just changed how things work and we didn't know. So what you need to do to fix this is generate something called a sec file. Now there are two ways, two main ways you can do this right now. You can do it through the command prompt if you know how to use that, or you can do it by setting a launch option in Steam. Also, once test 5 edit is out, once the next version is out, it does have a button built in, or it will, to generate this file. So if you're going through Steam, what you're going to want to do is go to Library, then the Tools tab, then right click on Creation Kit and go to Properties. Click Set Launch Options and type this in. You're going to want to do dash, generate, seq, colon, not semicolon, then the name of your plugin file. So I would do, for mine, falscar.esp. Then click OK. You can close that and launch the creation kit. This will load up your mod in any master files like Skyrim.esm and generate this file. So I'm going to do that now. The creation kit will open and display this splash screen and it will say it's loading things in the background. Um, to my knowledge, no errors or anything should pop up. It should just do this and when it's done, the creation kit will close and you will have the file. So I'm gonna let this happen. So it just finished generating. I'm going to want to go to my Skyrim folder, not data, but the folder right above it, and you'll notice that you now have a file called whatever your plugin or master file is, .sec. Now, you're going to want to move this file because it just kind of throws it in the Skyrim file, or the Skyrim folder next to the creation kit. Go to data, then create an a SEQ file if you don't already have one, or folder, if you don't already have one, which you should not, and put this file in there. Now you do need to uh, distribute this with your mod whenever you, if you upload it to the workshop or the Nexus or whatever, or else the people using your mod will experience the same issues. Now this does not discriminate between plugin or master file, so whether your file is an ESP or an ESM, it will work all the same either way. You do need to regenerate this whenever you add more quests or alter things or alter additional things. and. This issue affects basically dialogue and scenes and quests that you have altered or added. So really, if your mod touches quests at all, I recommend generating this and including it with your mod. So that does it for this video. That's how you get around the dialogue issues we've been having, and it should work for just about everyone and fix most of the problems we've been having. And that's how you get functional dialogue.